One of the greatest challenges facing Africa is sustainable development. Many organizations have invested heavily in development projects, but not all of them have been successful. Piston pumps like this one cost several thousand US dollars to install, but many of them fall into disrepair as local villages don't have the money or skills to maintain them. As a result, the benefits have just drained away. Many people still collect water from rivers and streams, and although it might look clean, there is a high risk of catching waterborne diseases such as cholera and dysentery. Pump Aid has learnt from the mistakes of other projects and believes that people need to take an active role in their own development. Schools and communities have to take the initiative by applying for an elephant pump. Pump Aid then responds to these grassroots demands. Every year thousands of applications for elephant pumps are received. In each case a rigorous site assessment has to be carried out to determine the physical suitability of the site and the potential benefits to the community. There is no point in building pumps on shallow wells as they are likely to run dry when water is most needed. To ensure that there will be enough water in times of drought, Pump Aid normally carries out site selections during the dry season. In many cases, communities are asked to deepen and improve their wells. This is hard work as people have to dig through layers of compacted earth and extreme cases can even require dynamiting by experienced well diggers. In villages where there are no wells, people use the ancient technique of water divining to locate a water source. Having dug a good well, the community has completed an important first stage, but there is still a lot of work to be done. When we select a particular site, we tell the community that they are supposed to take part in the construction of the elephant pump. Thus, we also in invite them to put their input in bringing in pit sand, uh, river sand and bricks. And we also ask them to be part and parcel of uh, the building team. Thus they will be like understanding the way in which the elephant pump is made. Because the community have been so involved in building their elephant pump, they have a strong feeling of ownership. They're keen to maintain it and understand how it works. We have to understand that um, development has to take stages. Yes, it would be preferable just to get there and give them a diesel pump, give them an electric pump, but down two, two months down the line, come back to them and you see those people are stuck. The elephant pump really has been successful because it's a very simple technology, very basic. Everyone can be taught how to maintain it and to repair it. As a result, you come back Two or three years down the line, the elephant pump is still in use.